Hey, it's Megan here, and today I'll be reviewing my KKL Electric Adjustable Standing Desk. I'm going to share why I love this desk so much that I got two of them, plus I'm going to share the one con you might want to know before purchasing. So let's get into it. Like I said, I love this desk so much I got two of them. I have one in my office and one in Andrew's office. I was looking for something as someone who works from home that I could easily bring from sitting to standing even while I was in the middle of a call. And this desk has definitely delivered. It looks really nice. It does have um, metal legs on the table itself. I opted for the white to keep my area nice and bright. And then it has a wood top on the desk part of it. I really like the way it looks and it adjusts very easily. Like I said, it is electric and it adjusts from 27 inches to 45 inches at a speed of one inch per second. I really like the way it raises. It feels super sturdy and stable as it is going. It's also said that it has a noise level under 50 decibels. I'll say it's really quiet as it's raising or lowering. I've even done so in the middle of a call and it is not disruptive at all. The other thing I love is that the desktop itself is waterproof and I can attest to that. I have left some cups on here with no coasters and there are no water rings, no water marks. I've spilled some coffee on here. Again, no water marks. And I had this desk in storage for six months in Florida humidity and still no watermark. So I'm very impressed with the waterproof function of this desktop. It is also the perfect size. I went for the smaller size. So this one is the 48 inch. There's also a 55 inch. I have three laptop computers and they all fit. Plus I still have room to take notes. So it is, like I said, the perfect size for what I needed. And then as you may have seen, it does have holes at the top to route your cables through so that if you do, you know, unplug, your computer. It's not going to fall all the way to the ground. It's easy to grab and feed right back through so that you can keep your electronics plugged in. You'll see mine is a little beat up just from going through three moves, but it still does the job. And I actually um, hide the one on that corner with my desk organizing. We really like that feature because I'm constantly dropping my cords and it's super convenient that I don't have to go all the way down to the ground to get it. It has a standard two-prong plug for the electric feature to um, work. Uh, as you can see, I have mine plugged into a power strip. I've never had any issues with it, um, and it works in every office space that I have had this desk in. Now, let's talk about the LED screen and the memory feature of this desk. So, this is definitely one of my favorite features, and I honestly don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be this way, and I really like it. So you can see when I raise it, you'll see the numbers come up. Mine is flashing a little bit in the video, but it's not flashing in real life. That's just my camera doing something wacky, um, and you can lower it as well. What the really cool feature is, I really like that you can see the numbers because I actually just memorize where I like my desk, but you don't have to do that because there are these settings on here. So you can press and hold any of the numbers and it memorizes the settings. So what I like to do two for sitting and two for standing, this is a great feature because when I'm on a call, I can just press one of the numbers and I can raise up to standing without it interrupting my call. And you just heard how quiet it was. It's easy to do while you're um, in a meeting or anything like that as well. Okay, my only con for this desk and something to know before you purchase it, but definitely not something to stop you from purchasing it, is that if the power goes out, uh, it goes to the lowest setting automatically, or if you unplug it, it goes to the lowest setting of the desk automatically, but all of the programmable settings stay, so it kind of makes it not a big deal. It's really only a minor inconvenience for just a second, and then you pull it right back to where you wanted it to go, which I showed you how easy that was to do. 
I also read some reviews that said it's not very sturdy. I would have to say I strongly disagree with that. It definitely doesn't shake when I'm typing or writing. And I mean, even if I give it a good shake, you can see like nothing's falling over or anything like that. I can also raise it to the standing feature without any water or anything like that spilling on my desk. And I'll say I've used it, you can see right now I have carpet flooring, but I've also used this desk on hardwood flooring in my old office and it stands up just the same. It's also lasted through three location moves being put into storage, as I said earlier, and there's no humidity marks, no water damage, anything like that. It's very sturdy, it's held up really well. The legs themselves are quite strong and I would say make this desk pretty heavy. I can move it by myself just short distances, but when we were moving locations, it did take myself and Andrew moving this desk together because it is a little bit on the heavy side. The final features that I'll point out is we can go underneath the desk. And as you can see here, there is um, there's a hook, there's a hook on both sides. You can hang cords here, or Andrew hangs his extra headphones right here. Um, so that's just a nice added storage feature. The other thing I really like, we're gonna go under a little bit further here. Okay, the other feature I wanted to point out while we're underneath here is you can see the cord up there. That's for the electric standing and sitting function. And you can see it's not dangling down and hitting my legs. That's because it came with some little command strip hooks. So you can attach it right to the bottom of the desk. I thought that was a really nice feature so there's no cords dangling and hitting my legs while I'm trying to work. And lastly, as far as assembly goes, it was fairly easy to put together. Um, it's been a while since we did it, but I would say it took anywhere from half an hour to an hour to put the desk together. It was easy to follow directions, and if you've ever assembled any other kind of furniture, it's pretty much the exact same kind of manual and tools that you need. So overall, I absolutely love this desk. Andrew loves his desk as well. It is a lifesaver for being able to move from sitting to standing so you're not just staying in one position all day if you work from home like us. And I think it looks really nice in my space as well. So I hope you enjoy your new standing desk and enjoy all of the different features it has to offer as well.